Hey boys and girls, we're here at the legendary Rebello Racing engine shop with a good friend Ivan. What's up? We have Mr. Brian Rebello <laughs> and we have Mr. Dave Rebello. Hi there. Hi there. And uh, what are we actually? What are we putting together here? Maybe we can. Uh, I guess our, our our little project. Yeah. We 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 can talk about that. Yeah, we're, we're developing a 3.35 liter uh, L series single overhead cam engine with a. Uh, the first one we're doing is going to be a tall deck motor with a longer connecting rod, longer stroke, and a bigger bore. Okay. And capable of over 400 horsepower. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Brian, perhaps uh, you can kind of explain uh, what, what, what we're looking at uh, over here for something that less uh, mechanically inclined uh, folks here. Well, basically, this is just the crankshaft that we got from um, uh, Brian Crower. Okay. And he built this crankshaft especially for us, just for the 3.35. Okay. Um, you can see they've done a lot of work on uh, scalloping inside here to lighten the crankshaft up without sacrificing the strength of the crankshaft. Okay. Um, and if we do a back-to-back -back comparison on weight, we'll find that this crankshaft is actually uh, about a pound and a half lighter pound and than half. the original LD crank. Okay. And so, uh, for the guys who, who, who again, you know, uh, who don't know much about crankshafts, uh, you want this thing to be as light as possible. You want a lightweight crankshaft, but you don't want to sacrifice the strength. So that's what this whole thing is about here, is, is getting light, you know, getting weight out of the crankshaft where it's not necessary to increase the strength. Okay. Um, and basically, that's exactly what Brian Crower has done. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's put this thing on a scale. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So we're going to calibrate this, okay, set it zero. Wow, so it's at 48 pounds, exactly, okay. Fully counterweighted. Fully counterweighted? Yep, long stroke crankshaft, pretty good weight for a, for a big crankshaft. Yeah, okay. Okay. So this is the diesel crankshaft. Okay. With a shorter stroke. Yeah. So it's the V, the V0740, which is the Nissan diesel crankshaft. Okay. <clears throat> Calibrate that to zero. Forty-nine and a half pounds. So it's exactly a pound and a half heavier than our crankshaft or Brian Krauss crankshaft. Wow. <clears throat> okay, and now uh, Mr. Dave Rello also uh, mentioned that uh, we have a head that's uh, actually in the back of the, uh, the shop. So we had all ported and polished and ready to go with our, we call it our hot street cam. Okay. Which is uh, 570 lift and uh, about 306 degrees duration, 264 at 50. This is the biggest cam we run on the street. It's got oh, our man. Super Tech stainless steel intake valves, and for street use, we use an OEM 280 exhaust valve for the unleaded fuel. Okay. All right. And let's talk about the rods that uh, we have here. Uh, yeah, we're running the tall deck motor, so this is the rod that we used to use in our 3.2s, and still do, which is significantly longer than the stock 280 rod. It's about four or five hundred thousandths longer than the stock rod. Okay. And the, this rod is another four hundred and fifty thousandths again longer than that. So the benefit to having the long rod and the tall deck motor is that we have the extra torque from the longer stroke and we have the benefit of the longer connecting rod which allows the engine to RPM. This motor will easily turn eight thousand RPMs okay. and that's why we're confident with, with probably with race gas for now uh, on the race motors, we'll get over 400, but on the street, we should be able to get 370, 380. Right okay. There. And now, so uh, here in California, pump gas is uh, 91 octane. 91 octane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and with that, uh, that's uh, part one of the build, and uh, we'll keep you uh, guys informed with uh, as progress. Uh, well, yeah, as the other stages come along. Pistons are going to be here probably tomorrow, and we're going to start doing the machine work on the block. So. Okay, and also now, uh, Dave, really quickly, uh, if uh, the viewers who are interested in this build, uh, they can order the parts and, uh, yeah. When we finish the development, there may be a kit available. Okay. Um, with the three twos, we could never sell the kit because we couldn't get enough cranks. So we would sell 
any of the three twos we build here because they used a diesel crank. Okay. But the benefit to this is it's going to be a little bit more money, but when we complete all the development on the motor, two motor packages, the short deck motor and the long deck motor, okay. we will be able to sell them in kit form. Okay. And that way we won't have to hoard all the cranks because we can have as many made as we want. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, fans. So we'll see you later.